Police need your help tonight finding Fox 12's most wanted, a driver who hit a boy and then drove off. This happened last week in Lincoln City, leaving that boy in the hospital. Fox 12's Paulina Aguilar went to Lincoln City and spoke to the boy and his father about what happened in an interview you'll see only on 12. It was a normal Thursday when Elijah was walking to meet friends when he was struck by a car here on Southeast Quay Street, sending him 20 feet in the air, nearly hitting a power pole. The driver took off, and doctors say he's lucky to have minimal injuries. I was really angry. Like, I remember specifically the police officer saying, like, we're going to find him. And in, in that moment, like, the dad in me was like, you better find him before I do. I opened the mailbox to see if anything's in there. Nothing was in there. So I kind of trotted down and started walking a few steps, and then I got hit by a car. I was like, wow, I really just got hit by a car. And my mom is like next to me and there's like a blanket. I'm s sitting on a blanket or lying down on a blanket. And my mom is like over me. She's like pretty rattled, I guess you could say. Um, she's like praying and stuff. And I kind of, I remember like grabbing her arm and being like, it's okay. Like kind of reassuring her and then I started crying when I realized what actually had happened. I realized it was actually like real. And I was, I realized I was gonna get some help. I was like starting to calm down and I started like, I started making a bunch of jokes about it and stuff. I just needed to joke about it so that it would distract me from it. <clears throat> and it was, uh... I'm, I'm still haunted by what I saw, honestly. Like seeing your son in the ditch with with like pine needles and stuff in his hair and dirt um, and he's crying. That, that is every parent's nightmare. It, it was really hard to see your kids like taped to a, a backboard with a collar on his neck. Oh, we were really blessed um, that there, there was no spinal injuries, no neck injuries. Um, he did have a concussion that came with some vomiting and stuff. He has some stitches in his ear. He has road rash. He has a collarbone that's, they use the word shattered. Um, it's like displaced, broken bones. Like whoever did this needs to be accountable for their actions. But in order to like move on with life, that, you know, that person needs to come clean in order to heal. Witnesses described the car as a gold color sedan with out of state license plates, possibly from Idaho. I'm really proud of him. He's a great kid. And I just think it speaks to who he is as a person that he wants to, you know, move past this. You know, he said something to me in the emergency room that I still can't really process yet. He said, Dad, you got you to forgive him the day that it happened. The day that it happened, I forgave them. I just didn't want to hold on to any anger or anything. Elijah is expected to make a full recovery, but says he just wants to go back to school and be able to swim again. The incident is still under investigation, and if you have any information, to please call Lincoln City Police. Reporting in Lincoln City, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon.